Hello YouTube, this is Skillfine1630 here and today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to install iOS 9.1 Somehow my iPad just rebooted twice and it failed to load the screen so I, I ended up on the power button and that looks like it fixed the problem I don't know why it just reboot by itself and not load to the home screen just keep endless rebooting since I got that fixed, since I got that software that, that fixed, um, that's when it's right. You guys can see here, I'm already downloading iOS 9.1. You guys can see that. But it's preparing the updates. Um, could take a while. So this is the video I'm show you how to install it was eight nine point one. So one second. And I thought I had to restore it but just not. Right now, it says preparing update. If you guys can see that, it this update can, contains new features, including some benefits, live photos. That's only for the 6s. My iPhone 6 or iPad or the iPad Touch did not get that feature. Over 150 new emoji kit, which will the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch would get that. Uh, you guys can see that. Click on learn more. Hold on a second. I'm going to let my iPad read this to, to all of y'all. To all of y'all. Hold on a second. UI fix is an issue that could cause calendar to become unresponsive in month view fix is an issue that prevented game center from launching for some users resolves an issue that zoomed the content of some apps resolves an issue that could cause an incorrect unread mail count for pop mail accounts fix is an issue that prevented users from removing recent contacts from new mail or messages fix is an issue that caused some messages to not appear in mail search results resolves an issue that left a gray bar in the body of an audio message fix is an issue that caused activation errors on some carriers fix is an issue that prevented some apps from updating from the app store for information on the security content of this update. Okay. That's all it is. Okay, so iOS 9.1 has been downloaded. You guys can see that? You guys going to hit tap install now. Put terms and conditions in the GUI. And after that, you should install. You should install, and after that, your iPad will be done. So thank you, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you have to install. Thanks for watching.